let's go ahead and get into it. You see the skin looking dusty and disgusted, period. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my lips first with this e.l.f. Luscious Jelly Pop Lip Mask. And we're going to go ahead and moisturize the skin with the watermelon neocinamide dewdrops from Glow Recipe. I believe that's the name. We're just going to go ahead and get that skin together and we're moving on to the eyes but of course we're gonna go ahead and knock out carving out the brow first so let me bring you in boo period look at that skin it's glistening and stuff y'all i got me some new palettes over the last couple months it's definitely been a while since i've even recorded this video let alone bought some makeup so these are the most recent palettes that i've purchased all from julia's place and they're beautiful like i'm loving them and you'll see that I'm going to end up using one in this video too. Y'all already know I clean my brows with the Kevin and Kwan Central Skin Enhancer in SX14. I know in the last video I didn't remember the name. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and carve out my brow. And I think it just gives me a cleaner slate. So we are going to be doing a desert sunset cut crease eye for this look. So I hope you guys enjoy it and learn how to do it because it's gorgeous get ready we are going into the revolution pro concealer in the color c6 i think that's what it said <laughs> c or c8 or six yes it's the lightest color for that i decided to get and we're setting that with the air spun powder and y'all these palettes just make me feel like i got money you know what i'm saying but i also got the melt cosmetics impulsive palette which if you didn't know that is their first palette that they ever released actually really 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 like it but you're gonna see the look is gonna come together and it's just it's really giving um so i did want to just note that a couple things you want to keep in mind when you are doing this eye look take your time okay you want to use like a pencil brush you can even use like a i noticed that some people use want an even thinner line and blend it out that way so they'll use like a liner brush or one of those eyebrow kind of angled brushes the pencil brush is just fine you want to make sure that you blend your colors and i kind of chose this like shape to kind of give it a little elegance to the eye so i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it but keep in mind you guys i told myself and i told you guys as well that i wanted to try to do more intricate looks so to me this is intricate okay but it's gonna get better I did start my new job, by the way, you guys. I freaking love it. I told you my last job that I hated my job at Mayo, or I maybe didn't even tell you that I was at uh, what hospital I was at, but I was at Mayo Clinic. And you guys, I hated it. Started a new job. Actually started on Monday. It is now Thursday. I freaking love it. And it's January 13th now. So yeah, it's been a while. Don't judge me. Oh yeah, so in this area right here, I'm actually gonna try, you know, cutting my crease or cleaning up that area with a makeup wipe um, and just doing, following the shape of how I, following the shape of how I um, originally placed the colors for the cut crease. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Line and Define Eye Tape because I kind of wanted to keep that angle at the end. You don't have to do this if you choose to do this, you know? Of course, we're gonna go into my P. Louise base in rumor number three, and we're gonna carve that out. I really like using that makeup wipe, or you can use the makeup removing balm with like a Q-tip to you know shape out and cut out that powder and concealer or eye primer that you put on your eye. I like that because it does make it, the colors and the new shadows you put on go pretty smooth. So I really appreciate that. Please excuse me if this voiceover is just kind of all over the place, but you guys, I just got off work and I'm still in my work clothes and I needed to get this voiceover done. Like, I just needed to. So this is what you're getting. This is the real cut and dry. This is all natural. We're not even going to do another take. This is what you're getting, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy it. But as you can see, we did cut the crease. We did it very clean. We made sure the colors were blended. We went from darkest to lightest. You don't have to do that. You can do dark and then you can do light and then you can go back in with the medium. I've also seen that happen a lot too. On this end, I'm still, even when I'm adding the colors on the actual lid, I do use that brown. I go into like a kind of burnt orange kind of color and then I go in with the more brighter yellow. 
against the base they pop but i'm quite sure if the base was even darker they probably look a little different so in that impulsive palette they have this beautiful shade it's like a pinkish icy bright neon color and it's just gorgeous i freaking live for it and i went ahead and went ahead and did a brown wing which I actually really liked how that brought the eye look together, especially when you add the lashes and the bottom lash line color and the mascara, like it's given. See, like, yo. And remember, your eyebrows are sisters, they're not twins, and that's gonna be the same for your eyelids when you're doing like these kind of cut creases. You can get it as close to equal as you can, but it's just never gonna be that way. So I did my best, don't judge me. But guys, just look how the lashes are really going to bring it together like it's so cute especially when i add the bottom mm, it's given Ooh. yes i love removing the tape like it makes me feel amazing so we're gonna go ahead and head on to the base for now we have the elf serum hydrating primer and then we're gonna also be using the laura mercier pure canvas hydrating primer which i love If you guys hear any like noise in the background, it is my boys, my dogs. They're right here, right next to me. So hopefully they don't bark while I'm recording. And if they do, honey, this is it. We're gonna have a color correct with C16, same revolution concealer. I really enjoy these concealers. They dry down matte. You don't have to set them. It just really, to me, it depends on how many hydrating products I'm using. Sometimes I will set it, sometimes I won't. But as you guys can see in this video, I am not setting it. I just kind of let it be and went in with my Gucci uh, foundation, which I haven't used in a while. But gosh, you guys, like I thought that it oxidized at a point. I thought it went got kind of dark on my skin, but in natural lighting, because this is I'm using I think one or two studio lights, but I also had my window open and it just meshed so well with my skin. Like, look at that. Like, it made my skin look beautiful. And keep in mind, that foundation is a medium coverage foundation. It's not full coverage. We're going to go ahead and carve out our cheeks and our forehead and all of that with our Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer by Fenty Beauty. I hadn't used it in a while, and I just absolutely love it. That bronzer, like, it just really be given. It just really be given. Like, I made sure I took my time on this look when I was creating it. I just had fun. And we're using two concealers today. The Dior Forever Corrector Skin Corrector. That's going to be the darker concealer, which I love the texture. And we're also going to be using the Shape Tape Hydrating Concealer. I do want to mention that this isn't normal for me to do. Normally, I'll go in with the darker concealer, blend it out all around in the same areas, and then I'll go on top of it with the lighter concealer. I think I still prefer that method better. I don't really prefer putting them on top of each other. I just felt like I didn't get the same look. Of course, it's still cute and it came together, but I don't think I got the same look or anything. Yep, we're going to use the All Nighter Pressed Setting Powder to go ahead and set those areas. And then we're gonna use our Becca Light Reflecting Pressed Powder. I don't know the exact name. I'm just kind of filling in the blanks here, okay? We're setting the rest of my skin with that. Um, but I used a more compact brush this time to use that and it picked up the product way better and placed it better. Beauty Bakery, yes, honey, we're going into the bronzer that you've provided. I don't remember the name of that bronzer. It's a little too far for me. And you guys would hear me stretching out to go get it, but we bronzed our face with that. It does have a nice little like plum kind of tint to it. And then we added our brightening powder again because y'all know I love this. And y'all actually going to see me do it again at some point in this video too. Um, hopefully you guys like my contacts. What you think? I love them. We're going to go ahead and finish up the brows. Um, and I'm using the NYX glue, the brow glue. We're using the brow glue, but we're also gonna go ahead and set that this time because I've noticed that when I apply setting powder to my brows, um, even if there's like a brow gel on them or not, or a pomade or something to like give the 
kind of fluffy brow like that Anastasia brow freeze I think I it makes more sense for me to set it because I don't like my brows to be looking all shiny so as you guys can see here I'm doing that and we're going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomades we're going to be using ebony on the outer edge and we're going to use chocolate on the inner portion of the brows I feel like I've just talked so much so fast what do you guys think definitely give me feedback i'm open to feedback i'm open to comments please leave your comments below about whatever you want to see make sure you subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i know that my schedule has just been trash but 2022 is definitely going to be the year for y'all to see me y'all gonna see me so much more and our relationship is going to grow i promise you it is but yeah the brows in this video definitely turned out how i liked and i really do believe that powdering them helped a lot And if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Anastasia Mariah. Thank you so much for watching me today. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. I absolutely do. I don't think I even showed you guys what powder I was using for my nose, but I'm actually going into my Sephora face palette. They have face palettes in deep. And I'm actually using the bronzer powder that's in that palette for my nose. I think it just gives the perfect amount of warmth. And I think I'm going to stick with that. As you guys can see here, I'm finishing my lower lashes and adding some blush, which is also by Juvia's Place. given we're gonna go ahead and add some lower lash mascara because i didn't even talk about the eyeshadow that i added to the bottom but i did add that lower lash mascara and we're gonna go ahead and add the jaclyn hill cosmetics loose highlighter i don't remember the the name of it right now but we just added that to the high points of our face as i am still a highlighter wearer i'm never gonna leave it now we're pretty much done here y'all but just just on the next screen right here it's about to pop up please do not judge my wig okay i truly honestly truly just slapped it on put on a shirt and put on a band like that's i had to put that headband on because that wig was just sitting up on top of my head it's too big for my head i just wanted to put some hair on my head because if you guys don't know i did the big chop maybe a year ago and a few times since then and i do not wear um I don't keep hair on my actual head and I'm not cute bald head, honey. It's not giving, I'm, I'm really serious. We're just lining our lips. Y'all know lips is my favorite part. We're using the Buxom Lip Liner and I don't have the name either, but if you guys really want the names of these items and detail and the colors that I use for things, please let me know. Please leave that in the comment section. I'll start doing it, but until you guys really ask, I'm just not gonna. Like, if I don't have it on the top of my head, <laughs> I'm just, you're just not going to get that. But, yeah, you guys are definitely tuned in, and I'm loving it. I've missed you guys. I've missed filming. I'm in the process of moving, and as, as you know, I started a new job, but I'm getting settled with that. This is my first week, and I'm getting my beauty room set up here, my filming room set up here. But, yeah, you guys, pay attention to the face. Like, the beat is really, really given. Like, I am feeling myself once again. And this is a really simple cut crease. Like, one of the easiest ways to do it is the way that I showed you guys. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys are going to get a natural beat look next.